Howdy YouTube. No, nobody stole my floor mat. I'm just putting insulation in the floor today. And this is why I just pulled out. This is nasty, folks. I don't know what the heck is in this. Gross stuff. It's all discolored. I don't know if that's mold or what's going on there. I don't know if this stuff has God knows what in it. Or what kind of nasty adhesive is all over this. I thought I might just clean this mat up and keep it, but now that I'm looking at it, it's so nasty. I think what I'm going to do is just use this cardboard form I made. I made this out of six extra large boxes from the Home Depot. And all I did was trace the uh, shape of my new cargo mat, which I have right here. So what I'm going to do is put this cardboard in here as the base layer. On top of that I'm going to put a couple layers of this low E insulation. It's similar to Reflectix. This stuff is foil on one side and get this to focus here. Foil on one side and white on the other side. I'm going to put a couple layers of that on top of the base layer. Then on the heavy traffic area, which is going to be this front part, at the back I'm just going to have a bed and a shelf. I'm not going to be walking on that. But this front area, I'm going to lay another couple boxes uh, in the heavier traffic area part of it. There's going to be a box, basically the width of that wheel well right there. So basically in front of that, from there to this step, I'm going to have an extra layer of cardboard just to protect it, protect it a bit because this stuff, you can walk on it without making indentions, but if you put a knee or an elbow on there, it can indent. So I'm just going to put an extra layer right there in the heavy traffic area. And then on top of that, I'm just going to put my new mat. So basically the layers will be this, which is two layers of cardboard as the base layer. I'm going to put two layers of the low E. Then I'm going to put a piece of cardboard on top of the low E right here in the heavy traffic area and then the new mat on top. And what the cardboard under the low E is going to do is provide an air barrier because if you put that low E right against the surface it essentially just becomes part of the surface. If you get some air in between it then it actually has some R value. And then on top I'll just have that piece of cardboard to just be a little protection on the low E so it doesn't get compressed. I'll show this to you as I get it installed. Cardboard layers in guys. This worked really good. I only had to make a couple adjustments. And it's probably important to keep things where they're not super tight because I had it was starting to bulge and I could push it down by the wheel well but it squeaked when I did. And the last thing you want is any kind of squeaks back here. It'll drive you nuts and you'll have to tear the van apart to find it. But this worked pretty nice. So I've got two layers here and essentially I tried to keep it where there's no cracks that go through both layers. In other words, where you see a seam, there's a solid piece underneath and then the seam in that one somewhere else. I think that's important to keep it nice and solid. So let's have a look at the insulation layer. Alright guys, I got layer one of the insulation in and this layer goes foil side up. The next layer will go white side up. So basically, I will be putting some stuff over the wheel wells. Uh, maybe some foam or something like that, but I'm going to add that later. And right now, I just trimmed the white piece that's going to go. It's still under the mat right here. Let me throw that in there and show you. Alright guys, next layer's in. Looks like fresh fallen snow. Pretty cool stuff. And... Like I said, I'm basically just going to put a piece of cardboard here and then throw the mat in. I think I'm actually just going to lay a box on here. And this stuff is surprisingly a little more uh, rugged than I thought it would be. I'm going to do a compression test here for you in a second to uh, see what I can expect here. Now ultimately my plan is only to have cardboard on top of the low E in the high traffic area which is pretty much indicated by this box but it could extend a bit to 
probably where these smaller pieces are, right to the edge of the wheel well, because that's where the edge of my bed is going to be. So I know I'm not going to be walking back there where the bed is and where the shelf in the very back is. But up here, this is going to be the open area where I will be walking around, hanging out, setting chairs down, that type of thing. So I will be putting something more protective here. For now, it's just going to be a box, and for now, I'm going to protect the back as well. So this is ready for me to throw the rubber back in and put the guards back on. All right, guys. It is done. Floor insulation. For now, and then, like I said, I'll modify the way those boxes are in there and see how that works out for me. Also, I need to... These clip deals I'm having some trouble with here. I cut a lot of extra cardboard off right here. And the right side's kind of going in okay, but the left side's kind of weird, so I'm going to have to mess with this. And the only other issue is... Right here, the mat actually covers those clips on this step edge but step sits in here fine so I think it's okay I'm just gonna have to trim off just a little by the gas tank there I'm gonna do that later because the sun is about to set and mosquitoes are starting to bite so let me show you this compression test here what I'm gonna do for this is just on the concrete I'll take a piece of low E I'm not going to do any like wrestling moves guys, so don't be too let down. I'm going to try with one piece of cardboard on it. Just put an elbow into it. I don't see any compression. You know, if you really press on this stuff, you just about have to do it with your finger to be able to make a mark. You can feel it pop under there. And probably even if I did that with my elbow. Yeah, that made compression for sure. But even with one piece of cardboard, no compression. Let me test that again to make sure. I gotta put some more force like I just did. And you can definitely see how I was compressing the cardboard. All right, now I'm doing wrestling moves. I told you guys I wasn't. Got compression on the cardboard. No compression. So I think I'm going to be fine in there. Like I said, you can really pretty much walk on this stuff. I mean, I haven't been walking directly on it, but you can. So anyway, that's my first build video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Share and like. And I will see you guys next time.